Our next Hall of Fame inductee for 2007, Joe Heap. Welcome to the Cavalcade of Sports. Notre Dame halfback Joe Heap runs, catches, and throws the Irish past stiff competition. Joe Heap was an astonishing athlete at Holy Cross High School in Notre Dame. Heap received four letters at Holy Cross for his gridiron heroics and three more as a sprinter on the track team from 1947 to 50. Eight was never enough to describe the Heap family circle. Joe learned early you have to be quick and tough just to get your family share. He never lost that quickness, toughness, or love for the game. Joe Heap burst on the scene at Holy Cross as a starter in 1948, earning his way in grueling practices behind that well-known cinder block wall at the Tiger practice field in the Lower Ninth Ward. As a sophomore, Joe scored 16 touchdowns. During his junior and senior seasons, Heap led Holy Cross to the Prep League Football Championships. His 1949 Tiger team was state runner-up to Bird High of Shreveport. Wearing number 38, Heap thrilled the Tiger crowds with runs like this one over Memphis Tech. He earned All-State accolades in 1950 and ended his high school career with 55 touchdowns, a record that stood for nearly three decades. The Tigers had a record of 27 wins, four losses, and a tie during his three years as a starting back under Coach Lou Bronson. He capped his senior year by entering and winning four events in the state track meet, along with more accolades, more records, and an all-prep team selection. There was no stopping Joe Heap. His success caught the eye of Coach Frank Leahy in South Bend. He would sign Joe Heap to play for the Irish, and a football legend was born. Here comes Joe Heap, and here come the Irish. Heap is the only player in Fighting Irish history to be named Academic All-America three consecutive years and graduate cum laude at Notre Dame. In a time when guys played with leather helmets and no face masks, and when players played both ways on offense and defense, Joe Heap was tough enough to make his mark. Wearing number 42 at Notre Dame, Joe Heap had a nose for the football on defense. But Heap was recruited for offense, and he became part of the bill that has been reputed to be Notre Dame's greatest in history. Quarterback Ralph Gugliami was drafted by the Washington Redskins. Left halfback Johnny Latner, the Heisman Trophy winner in 53, went to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fullback Neil Wharton was selected by the Philadelphia Eagles, and Joe Heap was the first-round pick of the New York Giants. That Notre Dame team was voted the nation's top team in the sports writers' poll. Playing the toughest schedule in the United States, Notre Dame toppled or tied five major college conference champions. Joe Heap's debut waited until 1952, his sophomore season, because freshmen were not able to play varsity football in those times. That year against Pittsburgh, Heap returned to punt 92 yards for a touchdown in the second game of the season. Hello, Joe Heap. He continued to thrill the crowd with exciting runs and catches, but his speed on special teams allowed Joe to make his mark. In 1953, Heap continued to thrill the crowd with exciting plays, this time again on a putt return, 84 yards for a touchdown. As a senior, it was still the speedy Heapster, as he was often called, scoring on an 89-yard run against SMU in a nationally televised game. It was the third longest run in Notre Dame history. Football is blocking and tackling, and Notre Dame did both well. Joe Heap takes a handoff from quarterback Guliami and heads for the hole. Joe goes through left tackle behind good blocking as Don Klochak charges in. Heap goes over the goal, standing up for the score, just like they draw it up on the boards. Of Heap's 
safety, his Fighting Irish coach Frank Leahy said, Joe Heap could run, pass, kick, receive passes, and run back kickoffs better than anyone I've ever coached. He led the Irish in pass receptions for three straight years, finishing with 78 catches. Heap was also the first Irish player to surpass 1,000 yards in career rushing and receiving. His brilliant career at Notre Dame earned him special honors in the NFL draft at a time when the draft got much less attention than it does today. The New York Giants selected Joe Heap as their first round draft choice. But Joe's career was cut short after just one season when he joined the United States Air Force and served his country for three years. He stayed active there by leading his Air Force teams to undefeated seasons and service championships. A husband, a brother, a father, a family man, an athlete. Please welcome into the All-State Sugar Bowl's Greater New Orleans Hall of Fame, Holy Cross and Notre Dame football great, Joe Heap.